everyone, it's Mrs. Bodden here in the Art Room at Curie again. So today I'm going to show you how to make our 3D salmon fish. So you are going to need some supplies. You're going to need a glue stick, scissors, a eraser in case you mess up, a pencil, and a piece of rectangular paper. This is 18 by 12. You can use a smaller rectangular piece of paper, it just needs to be a rectangle. And then I have a small piece of white paper that I'm going to use for the eyes. So give me just a second to switch cameras and I will show you how we're going to get this done. So right now all you see is this big sea of gray and that's because that is how big my paper is. So we need to shrink down our piece of paper first off and we are going to start by making a square. So if you did the lizard with me, the 3D lizard, this is going to be very much the same way. I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to line it up with this edge, folding it to make a square. Now, just like with our lizard, we're going to do the same type of thing for our body. And we're going to do some lines to cut them off. You will, again, need your entire piece of paper, so do not throw anything away. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to run it just down the edge here. That way I can have a straight line to cut on. So next I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut. So again, save your pieces. We need all your pieces. So there that is. So now I have my big square piece of paper. Next step is just like when we were doing the 3D lizards, we're going to take our edge and fold it to the middle. I'm going to take my edge and I'm going to fold it to the middle. make it nice and crisp and I'm going to take the other edge and I'm also going to fold it to the middle. Now it's not quite so much a sea of gray, very much more a piece of paper shape for you guys. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to open it back up and fold it back in half so it's that triangle pointing away from you. So again, what I just did was we had it folded like this. I opened up my two sides and I fold it back into that half triangle that we made. Now, last time we drew a line that came straight down. This time we don't want a line that is straight down because I have a mouth. So I'm going to turn my fish the other way because this is going to be how he is. We are going to just round off the tip of our corner because we need all of this to become our fish. So, instead of drawing that straight line right here, we're just going to come out to the end, right over here, and I'm going to draw my rounded end. So I'm going to round off my corner, because I don't want him to have a pointy nose. We want him to have a rounded nose. Round off my nose. Now, I want to make sure that I have this as a head. So I'm going to move over quite a bit. If you need measurements, let's just go two fingers over. So we can make sure that our first line starts about here. So two fingers making sure my line starts there, which means if I come straight down from two fingers over, that will give me enough shape for my head. Yeah, you can do two. If you wanted to do three, let's actually, you know what, let's do three. So I'm going to erase that. Let's go over three fingers. So three fingers along that line. Make your mark. And then from there, draw straight down to your fold. Then just like with our lizard, we're going to make those one finger wide marks all the way to the end of our paper. And when I get down here, I can do just a little one, but I don't want to go any smaller than that. So, just like with our lizard, we draw our line straight up, straight up, straight up to our fold. That way we know we only cut to our fold and we end up with a fish body 
instead of strips of a fish. We don't want strips of a salmon, we want strips of a fish. There we go. So such pencils aside, we're going to use it again in a little bit, just not right now. So we are going to take our scissors and we are going to cut first off the round tip off. So let's round off our fishy nose. That will be garbage. Next, we're going to cut through both layers just on our line up to our folds. You do that all the way up to your fold. Just like with our lizard, these lines get shorter as you go towards the pointy end, which will also be our tail. Now, if you don't cut exactly on your line, are you in trouble? No, it's fine. Okay, so here we have all of those fish ribs and our fish head. So we, just like with our lizard, we're going to open it up. We want, hang on, my mask is in my way. We want the cut spot in the center. We have two giant triangles now. So we are going to put our glue on one of these giant triangles. It is going to overlap the other giant solid triangle, giving us that same triangle shaped body that we were doing with the lizard. If you have not done the lizard with me, go do the lizard. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to take my glue stick. And don't be stingy on the glue stick. Use plenty of glue. Use plenty of glue. The more glue you use, the better off it stays together. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to overlap those. Make sure you get down at your tail nice and good. Got a little bit of goo on me. And then I'm going to take, lay it down, and I'm going to stick my hand up the fishy mouth and flatten that against my table. There is our fish head and our fish body. Now we need to let this dry. We need to let it set up for a little bit. So go ahead and set it to the side. We're going to take our fish scrap, that extra piece, and we need to make our bottom of our mouth, our fins, and our tail. So we're going to take about a four finger section to go ahead and make a mark at about four fingers. You can draw a line if you want, or you can just cut it if you want. Now, I know that this is going to be wider than my fishy head, which is exactly what I want. So I am going to fold it in half. And just like with our lizard head, we're going to start on our middle folds. And we're going to draw a curved line over to our edge. So I'm starting on my fold. I'm going to draw a curve over and come down line. Then because we work smarter, not harder in my classroom, I fold it back up and I cut on my curvy line. Now is the moment of truth. Does it fit inside my fish body? So. If I take my fish body and I stick it right there, it does not quite fit. I am still too wide. You can see that bubble up of paper. So what I need to do, fold it back in half. I'm going to cut just a little bit off the edge, round it up. Now I'm going to check, does it fit inside my fish body? So now I can stick it in. Yep, now it sticks in my fish body. So I can take my glue stick, put some glue on my bottom of my fish mouth, and then place it inside my fish body. So put it in, press it down, make sure it sticks, and now my fish has an upper mouth and a lower mouth. Next, we need to do the tail and the fins. So again, still working, smarter, not harder. Let's go ahead and take three fingers, 
and we will cut off another section of our scrap. Now, we're going to fold this in half, side to side, and then we're going to turn it into two triangles. So, I want you to stick two fingers at the bottom, make a mark on both sides, that way we at least know we have it two fingers wide, then you're just going to draw me a triangle. Cut on our lines. Remember, we're cutting through both sheets of our paper so that we have the same size of triangle. Again, smarter, not harder. And there I have, oh, they're stuck together. I'm just rip them apart. There I have my two fishy fins. So we are going to stick these fins right about the second or the third rib. So go ahead and stick some glue on them. And then take your fishy and stick them on. You want to make sure they're about the same spot, otherwise it's going to look kind of silly that your fish is lopsided. So mine are about the same spot, both pointing out, and there I'm going to let them sit for a little bit. Last thing we have is our tail. So we have a pretty good chunk of paper for our tail. We're going to just fold it in half. And we're going to draw a heart shape. Because if you look at my tail, I turned it into a heart that we just stuck right on the end. So I don't need to use all of my paper. I only need to probably use about two thirds. So I'm going to draw my heart shape. This one might even be a little big compared to my other one. Yep, that's quite a bit bigger than what I'm going to need. So I'm going to shrink them in. Okay, now it's time to cut. So this will be the fishy tail. So let me open her up. And there's my fishy tail. So I can take and stick some glue on the bottom or right down the middle and there becomes my tail. So stick some glue on my heart. Take my fish tail point at the center of my heart and I'm just kind of push it down. There we have our fish body. So we've got head, we got our mouth, we got our fins, we got our tail, and now we need some eyeballs. So this is just a piece of paper that's probably about two inches by an inch and a half. I'm going to fold it in half. This time I'm going to draw a circle shape again, like with my lizard circle shape. And then I'm going to cut through both layers. If you have a black marker or a color crayon, great time to use it to draw the center eyeballs, center circles of our eyeballs. So draw a center circle, color it on in. Same on the other side. And then it's time to glue them. So one to each side of our fish face. So according to my poster downstairs, the red ones are zombies. And that's right around the time they die, I think, is what I was told. Uh, don't quote me on that one. I got the fish being made. I don't have the fish grown in my classroom. So here's my eyeball. I'm going to stick it right on the side of my fishy. Wipe some extra of my glue off on my scrap. And I'm going to take my other eyeball, stick it on the other side, about the same spot. And there you have your eyeballs on your fish. Now, if you want to shape it, I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Let me switch cameras. Hey, so now we have our fish. He or she is mouth open, 
has the two fins, has our tail. Now, if you want to shape them so that they've got that nice curve, looking like they're jumping. All I did was just kind of keep curving a little as my glue was a little bit wet. So mine is still wet. This is the same exact one I was creating with you all along. My glue was a little bit wet still, and so I can curve it like this. And then I'm going to set it down and let it dry that way. If you want that curve, set it down and let it dry that way. You may have to play a little bit more with it, fan it out a little bit, but you wanna make sure you set it down and let it dry that way. That way it'll stay curved. If you do not want it to curve, then just leave it as it was. So hope you had fun making a fish with me today and I will see you guys another time.